Custom school boards using jQuery and CSS. Step 1. Disabling. Here what we'll be doing is we'll be removing spaces around the edges by setting body to margin 0 and then we'll be disabling the default scroll bar by setting body to overflow hidden. And then we'll be moving to the step 2 which is making our scroll bar. For that first of all what we need to do is we have to mark it up. And for the markup we only have to create two DIVs, one with class scroll bar and other one with class slider inside the scroll bar. After marking up our bar, we will be styling it and for styling we are picking div with class scroll bar for styling it first. For styling, we will be bringing up the scroll bar element and we will be setting it to with 5 pixel at first, then height 100%, background is something dark, position fixed, top 0 and right 9 pixel just to align it and finally z index to 1 so that it will stay on top of every element that we will add later on. And then we will be styling the slider and for that we will be setting width to 20 pixel, background to something blue kind of stuff, border radius 10 pixel and finally left minus 7 pixel. Moving to step 3 that is adding jQuery and before continuing you have to add the jQuery UI file and the main jQuery file. If you don't add them, things will not work at all. And if you did, we'll be moving to next step that is setting up the slider height. And first of all what we need to do is, is to wrap our whole code inside documented ready function for proper functioning. And then we'll be getting the body height and scroll bar height using using height method and then after this we'll be calculating the slider height by dividing scroll bar height with body and multiplying it to 100 and then we'll be assigning it the slider using the height method and after this we'll be focusing on functioning of the scroll bar and don't forget to write the jQuery in continuation and just for functioning, first of all what we need to do is, is to make our slider draggable by using by using jQuery's draggable method and then we'll be concentrating the slider's movement by setting containment property to parent and access property to y only. And then we'll be using the drag property to execute function whenever user drags the slider. And it looks something like this. First of all, we'll be getting the position top of the slider whenever the user drags it. Then secondly, we'll be calculating the scroll percent which is equal to position divided by the scroll height into 200. Then we'll be converting the scroll percent into pixel by dividing scroll percent with 100 and then multiplying it with the body height. And the last thing we have to do is, is to scroll the body element using scroll top method of jQuery and scroll pixel as the amount of pixels that we have to scroll the body. And finally, and the last line of code that we have to write is we have to close all the function and methods. Just like here, look it, and the code is ready. Now we're gonna try it. As you can see right here, it's really pretty nice and smooth. You can get a source code on codependent.io, links in the description below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe me for more as I do make new videos every week. And don't forget to follow me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and all social medias. And Links in the description below. And finally, don't forget to watch a video which are going right on the screen. By clicking annotation, you can watch them. And if annotation don't work, we have links in the desc description below. And if you have already watched them, we have lots of videos. Go watch them. Bye, and thanks for being here.